Hello everyone, this is Joel the Minecraft Teacher. Welcome to Elementary Minecraft. Now this is not a regular episode of Elementary Minecraft. I'm not going to be doing any adventuring today, but instead this is the first uh, edition that I'm going to teach you how to do something in the game. And I'm going to start with one of the most simple modifications you can do to Minecraft. It's not even really a modification. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to use a custom texture pack. Now texture packs change the graphics of the game, change those, the way the game looks and feels. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, first we're going to click on the mods and texture pack buttons and you can see at the moment the only mod that I have installed is this uh, default mod, you know, the, uh, excuse me, the default texture pack, which is uh, what makes Minecraft look the way it normally does. Um, the first thing we're going to do is locate our texture pack folder. Um, if you're on a Windows computer, all you have to do is press this button and uh, it'll open up to the exact location where you need to uh, download the texture pack to. However, I happen to be on a Mac at the moment, and as you can see, it's not doing anything, at least for me. Um, so we're going to have to find this location manually, and this is just a good thing to know anyway. It's useful to know your Minecraft locations for several reasons beyond just installing texture packs. So I'm going to open up a finder window, and uh, we're going to go into my library. Now be careful, I I'm in my username's uh, library. Uh, however, there is another library under your hard drive, Macintosh hard drive library. We do not want to go there. We want to go to your personal library, which is under your username, which should be over here. So, I'm going to go to my username, double click on library, double click on application support, and then we're looking for Minecraft. So inside Minecraft, this is where Minecraft stores basically all of your data. Uh, this bin folder is where the, uh, most of the game actually gets downloaded to the first time you run it. Uh, we're going to come back here when we start installing custom mods. Uh, your save games are here. These are all your worlds. If I go in here, these are all of my worlds uh, that, that I play with. This is a good location to go to if you want to back up your worlds. Uh, but what we're interested in right now is this texture packs folder. So as you can see, I don't have anything here at the moment. So let's let's download a texture pack. Let's find one we like. Uh, a good place to start is uh, this for this uh, this thread on the official Minecraft forums. Well, semi-official, uh, the texture pack list slash mod tools map list, uh, texture pack central. Excuse me. So. On this, this page are just a ton of different texture packs that people have created. Um, and most of the ones up top you can just download and use immediately. Find one you like, look at the pictures, there's usually some more pictures to look at. Uh, if you scroll uh, about halfway down, uh, you can see that some of them are a little different, some of them are a little more detailed. Here we go. Like, do you see this one says 32 by 32? That is the uh, dimensions of each each block. That's how many pixels wide and pixels high they are. Uh, default Minecraft textures are 16 by 16. So if you download any of the ones up top, those are 16 by 16 and they will just work. You can just install them in the game. If you do ones that are 32, 64, 128, 256, uh, you actually have to get a, uh, a separate little mod, a little HD texture pack uh, patcher that, that enables the high texture mods. But we're, we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna stick to uh, uh, a simple 16 by 16 texture today. So I'm going to go, I've actually already found one that I wanted to, to use. So. I, I found it on this list, I clicked here, and I've got it open in another tab here. This happens to be my favorite one that that you've probably seen me use in some of my other videos. It's called Lar Games. Um, so we go here. Uh, let's find the download link. Uh, so we're going to download it. Ah, AdFly. But you know what? Be careful. A, a lot of things these days are on AdFly. Uh, which uh, it is a way for people to host files. You have to be very careful. There's a lot of uh, tricky ads. Uh, these are actually advertisements here. Be very careful. Don't click on these. Uh, well, I mean, click on them if you want to see what the ad is about, but this is not your file. Uh, I actually think this is a little uh, disingenuous and tricky. I'm not a huge fan of AdFly. I'm not saying any modders shouldn't use it. You know, you should uh, deserve to get a little revenue from, uh, from your mods that you've created, but you know, for users, just be careful. So the uh, the what you need to click on is up here, skip ad. So we're going to skip ad, 
and that brings us to uh, a media fire page which is where we're actually going to download it so right we're going to say click here to start download and most texture packs are tiny 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 see look I, before I could even say anything it's already downloaded so here's what we're going to do so I've got my finder window I'm going to actually uh, open up another finder window here um, so this is where we want to put it. I'm in the texture packs folder. Um, I'm going to go to my downloads and here it is, Lar game texture packs. Now you may be used to downloading zip files and you know, you double click them, you, uh, you, you, you unzip them. That's actually not what we want to do in this case. For a texture pack, you want to take the whole file, zip and all, and just drag it right over into your texture packs folder. And again, this is, this is pretty much exactly the same on a, on a PC. Um, so now it's there in my folder and it should yeah it shows up right away on the texture pack list so if i go in here and uh start up my game uh we should see the new texture pack and here we are now this this particular texture pack i like um because it actually does not significantly change the look and the feel of the game i actually like minecraft's graphics and i don't like uh well i i, I prefer texture packs that don't change it too much so i i feel that this is uh, true to the spirit of the original texture packs but i don't know everything's just a, a little cleaner a little nicer but that's just me. You should find a texture pack that works for you. Um, go look at the list, find one you like, and uh, install it. Let me know how it goes. Thanks.